Hello Aries, I hope you're all doing well and thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. We have Between Worlds. Now this could be that you've got a decision to make, it could be that you know, you're thinking about what you want to do, you've got the idea but you haven't actually put it into fruition yet, you know, and taken any actions over it. Three, it's about laying solid foundations, so it could be moving from grey areas into clearer waters here. So anything that's disappointing and moving yourself forward into brighter times. So we'll see what this is about. You might have made plans, but they're not fully up and running. Impatience. Yeah, it could feel like you've been a bit... You've, it's maybe taking longer than you think to get things organised. I mean, this could be working your notice, for example, and you're really praying for the end of a job to come if you're moving to a new one. Anything like that. Anything, any kind of change that's coming in that's going to benefit you, you might be a bit impatient over it. It's only human nature, we're all human creation. Yeah, it's about your goals, about what you want to create for yourself. So like I say, it could be like something is, you know, like working your notice and having to sit it out until you can get a new job or get a new start date for a job. It could be anything. It could be that you're in, in waiting to move house to move country, whatever it may be for you, but there's a sense of impatience around this Aries. The Hermit. Yeah, there's your three. That's the three, the stability I was talking about, laying foundations for your future. Beautiful. Oh, gorgeous, two cups. And this is about your wish fulfillment. You're going to get there. You're definitely going to win. The Five of Swords is your central energy here. Your Five of Cups. That's fives of changes. It's change that's coming. The hanged man. The two of pentacles. Decision there. And the king of swords. Now what we've got is we've got five, two fives on the table. Now you could be feeling a bit impatient here because you're wanting change to come in or there's something you want to go towards. It's about what you want to create for yourself. And it's about going towards your wish fulfillment and contentment and your happiness. That's what this is all about. Now, what we've got here is we don't want to be regretting any decisions that we're having to make here to bring this change in, to go towards what it is that we want to create. So we've got a bittersweet victory here. So we could be coming out of a situation where we're looking to move forward, um, but we're going to have to leave something behind that we'd rather take with us. So there's a, it's like winning the battle, but not the war here. There's a bittersweet victory. There's a feeling of loss. OK, so. We want to be focusing on what we're gaining and not what we've left behind. So we don't want to be worrying about and regretting what we've left behind here because there's been situations here where there's been some kind of upset. These cups are empty and we can't refill them. So we want to be looking at our blessings and we want to be looking at what we've gained rather than what we've lost and what the, the decisions we're having to make. So really, it's about focus here. Uh, I know it might be taking a wee while, you might have made these decisions or you might have having to make them, but it's about bringing in contentment. It's about your contentment. Now, if you've got decisions to make here, you might want to take some time away. Or if you've made them, you might even want to take some time away. So you might want to go on a break or a holiday. You might want to go away for a walk, whatever it may be for you, because the answers are always within us. So if we're needing guidance on how to go forward and how we're going to make these decisions, we might want to take some time out because we're having to weigh things up here. Now, this could be, we don't find the answers in our environments. We always find them within ourselves. So coming away, being on our own, the hermit energy is a very lone type energy so that we can think. Now, this is about what we're creating because it's going towards our wish fulfillment, but it's about our perspective on things. When we're going towards what we want here and we're looking for answers and how to weigh things up, we want to think about what we've learned. Now, this is a very impatient energy as well. We can feel that we've been stuck for a wee while. We've been we're not been able to move towards what we really want for ourselves here. So we're feeling impatient. But Spirit holds you in this energy when we want us to learn things. And you can normally see them handing from the tree of knowledge. So you want to be looking at every opportunity. You might be wanting looking at things from a different perspective now. But look at everything you've learned. And sometimes, you, like I always say, you see a light bulb around his head. It could be a decision. It could just come to you about what you need to go, to go towards what it is that you want to create that will make you happy here. So using your knowledge, I know you might feel a bit impatient and you've been held in this energy, using the knowledge you've gained while you've been feeling a bit stuck to weigh things up, taking time out 
And this can be making a head over heels decision. Now, this could be in any area of your life here. It could be in your work life, your relationships, your environments, or with your finances. But you're having to make a decision here to bring greater balance because it's about laying solid foundations for your future. Now, when we weigh things up properly and we make good decisions, and you know, this could be anything in any area of your life. When we're making the good decisions, we're laying solid foundations to go towards what we want to create. Now, anything you put your efforts into will grow because we've done our soul searching, okay? We've made, we've cut our losses from whatever area it may need to be for you. And we've weighed things up and we've made the decision about what we want to create. Now, this is a co-creative energy. So it could be that you're going towards a new employment, a new job. And you, you might regret leaving some of the people behind that you work with for a long time. You know, so that kind of thing. Uh, it could be that you're investing, you're coming together with a person that's going to be very good for you. And it could be a romantic relationship. So this could be the two of you coming together. You could have been a bit impatient. You might be putting your finances together just now and, and buying a house or moving into the same home and creating stability for your future in that sense. Now, if it's a romantic person that you're wanting to bring in and you want to create this relationship and you want to work at it and the two of you want to build something, this person is a mirror image of you. It's going to be a very caring relationship and a very well balanced one. They see life through the same eyes as you and you're both singing off the same hymn sheet. So it's a wonderful partner, life partner here that you could build great things with. Now, this could also be um, you coming into alignment with your spiritual self as well, being at one with yourself after making these decisions. Because this could be you uh, working as a team in, in a project at work, you know, and your skills are being recognised because this is an employment card. So there could be news coming through from an intellectual person that you've got a job. See, well, this is, could be a legal situation that goes in your favour that enables you to create stability for yourself. So this could be a lawyer, a bank manager, anything you're investing here financially, uh, whether it be in your finances, your work, your environment, your home life, all that type of thing. And, you know, you could be building, you could be building, you're going to be building great stability for the future ahead. So you're creating wonderful things. Now, this kind of stability only for us, you only get better. Things only improve with it. So any efforts, you, any efforts and work that you put into, you're going to get back tenfold here because it's solid and stable. So you've made your decisions here, you've weighed things up and you've brought this beautiful stability in. Now, like I say, this could be somebody bringing you information or it could be you just getting the clarity through weighing things up. You're starting to see clearly the, the decisions you have to make um, to, to go and where you want to put your efforts. So what kind of employment you want to be in, what kind of company you want to work for, uh, what kind of relationship you want to be in, uh, the type of person you need around so that you can build solid foundations for your future. This can be the clarity that's coming forward. Now, this can also be a communications card. So it could be you communicating something, making it clear if you're in a relationship with someone, what it is that you expect from it and building towards your future together in that sense as well. So it's about creating. Creating what it is you want, you will get there. Hidden depths. Something hidden is about to come to light, perhaps a secret memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. So there we go. That might help as well. Hidden answers. We do the soul search and we will find the answers. Okay, I hope this helps, Aries. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.